I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder, type rapid cycling, in January 2013 after my sister had taken me to the emergency room of the psychiatric hospital. I hadn't slept for weeks since I had begun having visions and hearing a voice in my head that told me, as soon as I fell asleep, that I wasn't worth a damn and that it would make me kill myself. In the end I was too scared to sleep, confused about what was real and what was only in my head so that I went more and more into suicidal ideation, which scared everyone around me. I was simply a mess. So with my arrival at the hospital, a real odyssey began for me, since I didn't react well to the drugs they tried on me. The medication either caused severe side effects, which were life-threatening twice, or they had no effect at all, or they made me dull, which I couldn't accept, since I'm a quick and active person. So I was in and out of hospital and day clinic for nine months straight, mainly because the drugs didn't catch my rapid cycling. The depressions were strong, but my determination was stronger. I was a born competitor, a former karate world champion, and this helped me to not give up. Since the health system is very good in Germany, I got a lot of different therapies during that time, and I became very ambitious because I was desperate to get off medication. I wanted to be in control of myself again, independent and capable. I wanted my dignity back, since the label of bipolar disorder made me feel like I was just seen as a crazy person who didn't fit into society. Luckily I had my closest friend as a mentor, but she was thousands of kilometers away in the USA, so she spent hours on Skype with me trying to find alternative solutions. In December 2013, after my release, my friend came across Sean Blackwell's book Am I Bipolar Waking Up and suggested to read it. It sounded that there was more to bipolar disorder than being just a mental illness caused by a chemical imbalance. I read the book in one go and went into hypomania right away. I finally found a plausible explanation for the outbreak of my illness and it seemed that the impact of major life changes had caused a spiritual emergency which contributed greatly to the mess I was in. I was so enthused that I went to Sean's YouTube channel and watched all of his videos. For the first time I saw light at the end of the tunnel a hope that I could be meds free and healthy one day. Since he asked for translations of his videos on his website, I started translating right away. Shortly after that I got in contact with Sean, who told me of his healing program for bipolar people. Since he would be in Europe soon anyways, it was the opportunity for me. I wanted to heal and was desperate to show everyone who doubted that I would ever heal that I could beat it. When I heard of the program, I was convinced right away that it was the missing piece of the puzzle in my healing. In November 2014, I had a two-week retreat at a house I rented with my American friend on my side who specifically came for this event, which was a life changer. We did a lot of work in that time, trauma-releasing techniques like meditation and bipolar breathwork, by which I could solve my inner tensions and childhood traumas. I could eventually forgive my father, who had died 19 years earlier, for all the pain he had caused me as a child. I could get off my antipsychotic medication right after without having any side effects, which appeared like a miracle. Normally I experienced severe withdrawal effects even with the slightest change in dosage. I tapered off the mood stabilizer a little bit more slowly just to be on the safe side, although I felt I didn't need medication anymore. All my tensions and traumas were actually washed out of my body. For the first time in my life I feel settled, calm and peaceful. I found my true values and strength. I know now who I am, which helps me get back my inner balance whenever it is challenged by life circumstances. Life hasn't become less demanding, but it can't harm me as much anymore, and this makes the difference. Along with my family and friends, my therapist and doctor have faith in me that I can stay episode free and without medication in the future. It is all still so unbelievable and fascinating that I decided to share my story. I want to give hope and courage that there is a way to heal ourselves. We just have to find the right access to our own healer within us, which was facilitated by Sean's healing program in my case. I created a film series of my seven breathwork experiences, which can be watched here on YouTube one by one. I hope that by visualizing them, I can give insight to an important inner process which normally can't be seen simply by eye. I would like to encourage bipolar people to overcome their fears and doubts and to help them believe in themselves. Although people told me over and over that they find me so courageous, I don't think I'm particularly. But everyone who keeps fighting this illness with determination is. I know healing is possible. We just have to be willing to do the hard work. I want this path. It's worth it.